Hello world, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Hello, it's good to see you all again. Um, today's mission is a very simple one. Um, we've got this remote control orbiter here, and we have to rendezvous with a stricken interplanetary vessel. It ran out of fuel on its last legs. Um, it's in a stable 90 by 90 orbit, but she is about 40 degrees inclined. Uh, didn't have enough fuel or RCS monopropellant to get a nice equatorial orbit. So we've sent up this robot to collect the crew. They were on a mission to Duna and Ike. Uh, it was a good mission. Went well. Uh, but uh, while we're doing this, we're going to be we're going to be talking about a few things. Uh, first of all, we're there, so we need to burn upwards. So that's nominal plus. Is that nominal plus? That's not nominal plus. That's radial plus. <laughs> anyway, yeah. No, I was right the first time. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's talk a few, a few things. First off, I haven't been doing Kerbal Space Program for a little while now. Um, I got really burnt out on the game. Um, to a point of just, it wasn't like I wasn't recording. It was like I just wasn't playing at entirely. Uh, during the, the week, my love of KSP has been rekindled. Um, that would be entirely due to Bobcat's Soyuz mod. I love the Soyuz mod. Um, I used to have the old one, but uh, this new one's beautiful, absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, yeah, okay, and. I gotta get back into. Uh, is that doing what I want it to do? It is altering my inclination in the correct direction. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> doing two things at once. It's hard. Anyway, campaign mode. Campaign mode. Um, I know most of you came on for uh, Kerbal Space Program. Most of my subscribers are here for Kerbal Space Program, and I've just run out of fuel in that stage. Which is what I wanted to do, and now we'll run round to the other side, keep this relatively equal, and uh, we'll even activate that engine. But yeah, um, actually we're gonna do a little bit of maneuvering away from that thing. <laughs> relatively balanced little thing, very nice. Using a few mods. Um, yeah, campaign mode. We're gonna be getting back into campaign mode. Um, uh, Zero point eighteen point four has just come out, and instead of trying to piss ass about and rebuild the old campaign. We're gonna do we're gonna go about it a completely different way. And this is kinda like a semi announcement for that. Um what I want what I want you guys to do is I wanna bring you guys into it a bit more. Um basically as it goes along we'll do we'll do an episode a week and it'll be generally a Saturday night event and you guys will pick the mission. The mission to be done. Like say, in the comments for this particular episode, actually state what uh, mission you think I should do first, as a, like a straight off brand new campaign with a hundred thousand cash. Um, I'll post a link in the description to the rules, the new, the latest rules, and everything, and we'll um, yeah. And if you post uh, names for astronauts as well. We can get all that started again, and yeah, this isn't gonna work. Yes, it is. There it is. Okay, cool. And we'll stop around about there. Okay, cool. Uh, there, I think. A little bit more. Uh, too far. Too far. Damn it. Anyway. <laughs> Is that then on Saturday we'd have the episode that uh, you guys wanted to, you know, you guys wanted the mission that you guys wanted, and in the comments of that you say what mission you want for the next episode, and then we go there. And basically, it's you know you're driving the campaign here. Uh, I'm just doing it. <laughs> See what I mean? It's it's like you know, you know the board of directors essentially. Yeah, that's literally what it is. You are like the board of directors. So, um, tell me what you think of that idea, and if you, if you know, if you just throw in 
your thoughts and stuff and uh, we're going to be getting back into Kerbal Space Program in general and I'll be doing a random episode here and there through the week as well as Minecraft um, I have to uh, I have to once again reiterate I do work you know the week because am I doing it the right way? Yes I am. Yeah I work the week I work a full time job which is fun <laughs> but um, I, I get recording time Saturdays, most Saturdays, but uh, summer's coming so uh, stuff and things, real life, etc. Yeah. But uh, we've uh, we got some stuff going. We're nearly there in our inclination change. Nearly there. You know, it's not like we're on a time constraint here. These guys have been out for uh, nearly two years. Uh, it's a year and two hundred and something days, eight days maybe, nearly. We took the long way around, unfortunately, had to chase Kerbin on our return. I've never had a mission that successful where uh, Kerbal's return, um, so I've never done a proper return before. So I don't know the best way to do it, so I just kind of like flew around the sun a few times. Oh, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. I wonder what it feels like non-existent bollocks. Bollocks! You are not a very good spaceship. I see that now. Okay. Um. Hmm. What to do now? Yeah. So, um, tell me what you think about that idea. Uh, I've got some regular missions. I want to do, like, a non-campaign campaign. Lol. Um. Which is, I, you know, I really like to get into properly going and exploring the plants and stuff. Which I haven't actually been doing much. I've sent a few probes here and there. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. If maybe if, you know, I should have launched into that inclination itself. Waited till um, the launch pad was right in the proper location and everything. Okay. Well, since this is kind of a failure, we'll just uh, end the flight. End the flight, please. And uh, go to the tracking station and just show you what we got lying around just for a bit of fun. Because we have been... Um, oh yeah. Uh, is that it? No, nope. well, it's part of it. This kind of spread of junk going around here. Oh, not that. That's more Soyuz parts. But anymore, Frakes Rocket Point Station wreckage. Yeah, uh, I tried to build, rebuild the space station in 0.18.2, and bad things happened. Big bad things. It kind of exploded. I was trying to use the um, docking strut mod, which apparently is not very good for 90 degree <laughs> angles on docking nodes, because it kind of like tries to pull them forever closer and then spins out of control. But what we do have, let's get this round right into the sun. Come on, pretty sun. Where are you? Turn that junk off. There you are. And it's the moon. Yeah, what we have here is... Um, a start of a little space station, Unity Station. Now, I got a few parts installed that kind of look stockish. These are from the stock expansion mod. It's only currently in the work in progress mod section. And it's nowhere near finished, but they've got this lovely little um, of crew. Yeah, Panopticon Observation Module. Big window for observing from space stations. How cool is that, huh? They also do like um, different size fuel tanks in a very similar style and all sorts of things. I think that's the only part on here. But uh, what else we got on here? Hi, this is two docked things. That's the docking port right there. Cool, huh? This is, um, I can't remember who made that mod, but can we clip in and see the texture, please? It's really nice. Can I clip in and see the texture? Please? Ah, there's a bit of the texture you can see. They've got really nice textures, nice door and everything. So it's like a big... It's good for attaching these huge crew modules together. We've got regular ports on that end over there and on the sides here. Um, gonna build more crew modules this way and then build a node into this. But uh, what we got actually here is I've been putting these trusses on the sides and I've got these which are the docking stretch. You can unlink stuff like that, you see, and then you can right like it, link it, and then you've got this other piece here and set as target and boof. And that is strutted. And I think that just adds to the overall uh, overall look and theme as well. We're actually upside down a bit. There is a ladder going across the whole thing here. There's no crew on board yet, but that's cool. And I've been playing, of course, with um, the Soyuz mod, which 
I'll just give it a show that I should actually. Uh, I, I might do a little launch video on that actually. Um, where is it? Load. I've got a few versions of it. Oh, lots of junk, lots of junk, lots of junk. Go away. Soyuz A. It's actually just the Soyuz, but I've added a couple of nice little things to it. Yeah, I mean, look at this monster. That's a proper job Soyuz with launch escape tower and the lot. You know, boosters come off, these come off, and there she is. Look at that. Is that not funky? Brilliant little thing. Brilliant. Go back. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's good to be playing uh, Kerbal Space Program once again. And uh, I have to really apologize um, to you guys. Um, I feel I've neglected you. And I do thank you for sticking with me. And we will recommence space activities. This is um, a little modified Soyuz using the, uh, what you call it, the laser system with these laser graded missiles on the sides and yeah isn't that awesome this little chat over thing. how cool is that little Kerbal speaking backwards oh and this thing it has an interior how cool huh awesome it's uh oh we're going over the poles cool I uh, yeah, also got a few extra little pieces. You can set the uh, the frequency or the yeah the, the frequency of how it talks and everything. Yeah, let's set that to really low. And the cool thing about this is this actually requires the laser system plug-in in itself. Um, minus these cameras that I've added to the sides here, these little ball-mounted cameras. You right-click them. These are from the laser mod themselves, and you get these little windows, and you can just look about and all that pretty cool and uh, you can actually see um, you can see the anomalies and stuff from orbit with these things I've I've taken a few shots of the pyramids in the desert with that but the standard thing here is if you right click the docking port activate docking camera please okay it's not working oh hang on sorry you have to turn the system on and you get this, and this looks really basic right now, but but when you've got something else targeted, you get all your crosshairs and all your lining up, and it even gives you an orientation crosshairs, so that um, let's uh, let's see if we can target that. That's too far away, but um, basically, when you get that crosshairs particular, it means the docking ports are actually facing each other the correct orientation, so you don't have to worry about trying to face uh, north south too much. Uh, this service module thing, wait no that's not the service, that's like the, the, the other module thing. This actually has crew capacity for two, but since there's no no exchange, there's a um, there's a little door on the bottom there for him to go in. And of course we've got missiles which uh, fire off on the uh, keys of one, two and three. Which I'm actually going to turn off the HUD and go... Oh no. We and they just spiral out and out into space nowhere because like they've got no target. <laughs> Crazy. Go away, laser. It's because I hit the um the the uh, the laser system part inside here. Somewhere. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. So um. Oh, to scale. There's your There's your scribble. Oh, cool cool thing about the whole laser system mod, EVA view. And oh, I clicked off the window. And this is actually screwed up a little bit, but let him let him write himself. Yeah, this is EVA view. How cool is that, huh? I just wish you could look down, but that's an inherent thing with Kerbal Space Program. I think if I do that, am I just drifting? Yeah, so the Soyuz is below us, isn't it? No, I'm, I should be. Go I'm going a pretty, pretty whack. No, okay, can't see it. Can't see it. Where is it gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to get lost. It's very easy to get lost. Ah, there it is. 
cool, huh? You know, I mean, a little bit more immersion, I guess. Cool for those weird screenshots, like... It's the sun over there. Yeah, we're coming back on the soils there. Anyway. Wow, look at all that down there. Cool. Um, so, random update video is kind of random. Um, tell me what you think about the whole campaign mode idea. I mean, we'd get straight back into it, and it'll be uh, one episode a week. And it would be literally your input. So I won't even have to decide on what missions to do. Lol. Um, you just tell me what they are on the Saturday night, on and whatever, on the video. Or, the, you know, starting off, of course, this video. Um, and then I shall do them, and it'll be there. Cool, huh? And we can have fun with that. So I'm just going to attempt to crash into this. Ooh, back it up. Back it up. Anyway, I'm going to try and crash into this so fast that I explode and end the video here because I am rambling like a trucker. Wow. Yeah, truckers are known for rambling, of course. BAM! <laughs> that didn't really kill me at all. That didn't kill me at all and didn't do any damage. God damn it. Okay. All right, I should end this here. Bye. We. We. Bye.